Okay, so first of all, my apologies for how long it took me to make this video. Uh, I should have done it quite a while ago, but here we are. A shout out to David for reminding me. Essentially, this video is going to be quite similar to the SS19 guide that was uploaded, uh, in that I'll cover the broad functionality of the bot and give a general guide on setting up tasks, etc. However, the specifics of setting up the bot every week will always be covered uh, sort of in the greatest depth in the Discord. Uh, so only look to this guide as, a, as an overall you know, video guide rather than relying on it for your setup. Uh, additionally, I'm sure I'll end up re repeating a lot of what I said uh, for the old GUI since the basic mechanisms are quite similar. But hopefully this video will clear up any issues or doubts you might be having and uh, in particular help newcomers um, in getting started. So uh, true to the fashion of the previous guide, I'll leave the dashboard tab over here, um, uh, which is where you set up the tasks till the end, because that's uh, probably the most complicated and uh, maybe, you know, there's the m most to think about for that one. Uh, so I'll start off with profiles. Um, it's pretty simple and self-explanatory as much of the, the GUI is, but I'll just walk through the creation of a profile. <coughs> uh, but first, here in the top right, you can see the import and export options um, for your profiles. So, for example, if you have a master JSON with all your profiles, you can convert to a depth format um, using, for example, uh, AYCD um, and import them straight into the bot and they'll appeal, uh, appear here. Um, export, of course, is if you want to have a saved JSON um, of your profiles in depth format, uh, which you can then um, convert and import into other bots. Okay, so um, in creating a profile, there are three steps, general, delivery, and billing. Uh, choose a name for your profile. Um, I'll just use, you know, uh, placeholder text. Um, and email and a phone number. So uh, for each of your profiles, if you can, then have a different phone number. It can just be random, it doesn't really matter as long as it's valid for your country. Uh, but having the same number on a few profiles shouldn't really cause any issues either. Um, use a different Gmail uh, for each profile for safety, even if it means just making some new ones uh, manually. Okay, on to delivery. Everything here is pretty simple. Uh, when it comes to state, you only need to select one if you're uh, located in the US or Canada or Japan, uh, otherwise just leave it as NA. Um, <coughs> jigging delivery address is obviously a, a pretty huge part of being able to get multiple same items to the, to the same address uh, and there are you know, loads of options to do so. Uh, misspelling your name um, or using shortened versions avoids red flags, so for example uh, for my main profile I might have you know, my, my standard name but um, for other profiles, I could shorten that to Mike or misspell it to, um, sorry, like that. Misspell my surname, so on and so forth. Uh, there are loads of options and you, you, you can be pretty liberal with, with misspelling a name or, or putting different names. Um, in terms of the address itself, uh, road can become, um, you know, road or um, road um, and things like avenue uh, can become av or maybe just a shortened version of avenue um, uh, adding also um, another option is to add three uh, random letters in front of address line one and this works quite well so for example let's say we have four test road um, you could add MPT for test road and you know you could uh, change these three letters to anything you want and, and it shouldn't really um, have any effect in terms of the final address that it's actually delivered to. Uh, for the UK you can uh, jig the zip code by changing uh, capitalization of letters, um, not using space between digits etc. So um, T become that with no space or um, decapitalize or 
so on and so forth, you know, that kind of thing. Um, essentially, what you want to do for each profile um, is have your shipping address different enough so that orders of the same item on same on different profiles aren't automatically bounced as duplicates, but similar enough uh, for UPS to deliver to the right location. So just for um, the uh, for later on in the video, I'll just add a quick fake address. Oh, sorry. And then finally, there's um, his billing. So again, pretty simple. Uh, enter your card number with no spaces. Uh, then select your expiry date uh, and CVV. Um, there is a small bug whereby if you paste in your card number that um, that has spaces in, uh, you won't be able to then edit that card number. So just be just be wary of that when you're putting it in. Uh, so, uh, and this one, just as a test, and then you create and you've got your, your first profile displayed here. Okay, so that's uh, profiles done, um, move on to proxies. Um, so first off, click the plus icon to create a proxy group and then you can name it. So. Um, say, let's just call it test. Um, then click save as I did. Uh, you can test the proxy speed here. Um, and let me just add a few proxies. So you can test the proxy uh, speed here um, and edit the site on which you're testing the proxies. Uh, obviously, um, for Adept, only Supreme is relevant at the moment, but in the future with the AIO modules, um, uh, that'll make more sense, you know, the ability to change which website you're pinging to. Um, there's the option to clear failed proxies, but I'd recommend to test uh, your proxy group a couple of times before you, you know, immediately clear any supposedly bad proxies. Uh, you can also delete individual proxies with the red bin icon, like this. Um, and um, what else? Okay, so there's clear all proxies with the, um, you know, Clear proxies button here, um, and you can always add more to the proxy group you selected uh, with the add proxies button. Finally, you can edit the proxy group name uh, with the pen icon up here, um, or ultimately delete the the whole proxy group uh, with the white bin icon. Uh, and this is what it looks like when you test. Um, so those are, those are all right speeds on local, not too bad. Um, okay, so on to settings. In the top left over here, uh, you'll see your Discord user information and the details of your membership. You can deactivate from within Adept, um, oh sorry, here, um, instead of having to go to dashboard, but the dashboard link uh, is here should you need it. Uh, also the, the Adept Discord invite uh, is located over here on the, the, the support icon. Right. Um, on to delays. Uh, so obviously delays are pretty important and on drop uh, I'd recommend around 600-600. Uh, um, uh, but for restocks turn both monitor and error delays to zero. Monitor delays the uh, refresh rate for the tasks and error delay um, is how long the task will wait after a failed checkout until it retries uh, checking out. Uh, both are obviously measured in milliseconds. Um, okay, so your Discord webhook uh, is so that you can see your successes with Adept in your personal webhook. There's a guide to set that up in the server. The option to send fail checkouts to the webhook will come in the next update. Um, the whole pre-harvesting section is only relevant to Japan. If you're from the EU or the USA or Canada, uh, please just ignore this whole bit about pre-harvesting. Uh, right, okay, so the most important part of settings is uh, Google Login. Uh, this is how you'll get your, uh, your one-click captures for your tasks. Um, AYCD Autosolve will be implemented soon. Um, you can log in uh, with or without proxy. Um, 
the key is that uh, if you run a given Gmail with a certain proxy on a one-click generator, such as you know AYCD or Valare, uh, sign that Gmail into Adept with that same proxy. Um, that said, if you sign in with a proxy of a similar location to the one you use on the one-click gen, um, you should still get one clicks. Okay, so I'll just show you what that looks like when you're signing in. I'll sign without a proxy for this one. Uh, yes, yeah, so just go through all the steps and wait for a depth to say logged in. Um, and then the Gmail will appear uh, over here. There we go. Um, and also in your harvester, which I'll, I'll show later. Uh, you can sign into as many Gmails as you want. Uh, right, so onto dashboard, which is the slightly more involved part. Um, the dashboard tab is obviously where you create your tasks. Um, get started by clicking create task. Um, and here you, here you see the, uh, the task setup. Firstly, choose category. Um, for the vast majority of products, it'll be clear which categories to select. And release weekly keywords with colors and categories for you to reference. However, um, if there is ever some uncertainty, uh, an option is to just run this, you know, the new category. Um, uh, and uh, that will definitely, you know, mitigate any errors. You'll definitely pick the item up. Um, it's just... Um, okay. Uh, the amount of tasks is, uh, of course, how many of the uh, current tasks you're setting up um, do you want Adept to create. Um, leaving it blank will register as um, as one. For EU drops, you have to use um, custom in product name um, and uh, enter the suggested keywords in the Discord or from your own source. Um, as soon as the EU drop happens, certified keywords will be uploaded and you can then choose them um, uh, in your in your task setup. This means for USA and Japan, you can use the preset keywords that are uploaded and um, you can edit your tasks in EU to the drop down keywords after the drop. OK, so keyword, keyword format. Um, again, very simple, uh, no commas, just spaces. So, for example, uh, box logo hooded, uh, box logo hoodie would be um, like this, for example. Um, and uh, uh, negative keywords work with a uh, minus sign in front of it. So let's just say, um, I don't know, we wanted to run new, um, but we didn't want to pick up the beanie. Then we just space minus beanie. Uh, and these, these keywords um, aren't case sensitive, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so color and size written in the same way. Um, you can run random by, by leaving color uh, and or size um, empty, but task will function slightly quicker in terms of picking up drops or restocks if you do uh, specific colors and specific sizes. Um, you can't run a range of colors uh, or a range of sizes yet. Um, so sizes are written as such, small, medium, large, um, and extra large. Um, okay, so choosing a, um, a profile is, is here. Um, you, you can either do all profiles or select one. Uh, currently choosing a range of profiles not supported. Um, over here, product quantity. This was introduced for the Oreos drop. Uh, of course, for most items, put one or leave empty and Adept will designate quantity as one. However, for example, the ponchos last week, you could cart eight in one basket. So there are, you know, there are uh, drops where the product quantity uh, is useful. Uh, select your proxy group here according to the group or groups you've set up previously in the proxies tab. Uh, onto the delays, uh, check out delay and delay increment are both measured in seconds and weekly setup guides are released in the Discord for each of the three regions um, regarding delays and number of tasks per item per profile. The um, delay increment is the margin by which uh, a task will increase its checkout delay after a failed checkout. Um, 
So uh, generally we recommend four tasks per item per profile, but of course you can adjust that based on your CPU, number of proxies and uh, number of overall tasks. Um, as for capture bypass, which until recently worked for the US, no longer does, so don't use it. Um, the guide for number of tasks with uh, use uh, 3D secure and experimental fast mode uh, does vary a little bit, so keep an eye on the Supreme Setup channel in the Discord for the weekly setup guide. The timer in the bottom right is there so you don't have to worry about starting a task on drop. I just set the time to 5 to 10 seconds before drop and click the clock icon so it's highlighted in purple. Um, personally I set it to uh, 5 seconds before drop so that's 10.59.55 for me. Uh, finally the harvester window is located in the bottom right. Uh, this is where your captures will appear and where all your gmails which you sign into in settings are. The harvester will force open and push the front of your screen once tasks are running or capture solving is required. So you don't need to open it yourself, but there's no harm in doing so. Um, Adept will also solve one-click captures of course, but uh, image captures you'll, you'll have to solve yourself. Don't pre-harvest before drop. Uh, you want the capture tokens to read zero before drop over here. Um, you want that to say zero. Okay, so um, I hope that's cleared some things up for you if you weren't sure. Um, and maybe helped a few newcomers with the, the basic outline, basic functions of the bot. Uh, browser mode's coming very soon, I think, within the next week or so. Um, so a video will be pushed uh, for that if needed. Thanks for watching.